Look what someone did on this poor little dingbot. It's an emergency on this week's... Randy Robot Garage. Yeah, so really and truly, the black actually does look pretty cool. I will give them that. But it's a really horrible job of painting. There's missing spots, uh, overspray. Uh, inside looks even worse. And then you have this big hole in the chest here. I don't know what that's about. Interesting enough, this one comes from Malaysia. You don't see very Malaysia ones of these very often. But it looks like it needs new tires. I'm sure it needs a new everything. So I can't bring it back to its an original form. But I can make it the best Dingbot it can be. So let's get started. People have asked me about making these gears for them. Well, I did make some. There's also a 10 tooth, and then on the motor, there's often a 12 tooth that's split. So I'm creating a Dingbot repair kit. I replaced the gear on the motor. I'm going to open it up and clean it up. Make sure it works perfectly. And I'm just going to use some alcohol. So the motor goes in, gets a brand new here. The switch has to go in like that. Okay, the gearing. You have this little slip gear here. It goes to there. You have this gear with the elongated gear. It goes next. Little spring to there. And then this gear with the worm drive goes like that and rides up and down on this big gear, engaging and disengaging this one. Okay, you can see I've got the gear back on. And I replace the tin tooth. And then this gets put on. OK. 
Okay, time to test. The silver came out really cool, and there's some like fish eye type of things going on, but I'm just going to leave it because I think it looks, it makes it look more metallic. That has to go like that, because it connects to that arm. That notch is there. So that means this thing and it goes like that. Now for something special, I have this little tiny light here that lights up with one and a half volts. I'm going to solder it here with the motor. And it's going to come around to here. So when this goes together, Light's going to be for this display, my plans. I'm just going to use some hot glue and to hold that light bulb into place. Okay, the wheels are just going to stay the way they are, but they are going to get new tires because these are all rotted. Now I'm just going to use O-rings to replace them. Okay, start with this one. Now everybody always asks me which one I use. Alright, I'll tell you. And one of those will go into the repair kit. For the other one, And those will be included with the kit as well. So there's your typical things that go wrong with the Dingbot. Three gears and three tires. So I should be able to put it together now. That goes like that. Duh. These go in.
while I'm fixing Dingbots, I might as well fix my newest one. This little lavender blue one here. So with my Dingbot repair kit, you get that gear. There you have it, the saddest little dingbot turned into the coolest little dingbot. And it works pretty well. I had to go in and like really clean up these feet. There's all kinds of overspray and they weren't working very well. And this is not the best table, but... Well, I really like him, and I'm very tempted to keep him and add him to my collection, but I figure his time's not done. He needs to experience the world, and the world needs to experience him. So for that reason, you can find him on eBay right now. So if you'd like a little dingbot like this, and you want to help support the channel, well, check the link below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you hit that subscribe button. You know how, you know the drill. All right. Anyway, I want to thank these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. I sure appreciate them very much. They allow me to rescue a little thing bot like this. And if you'd like to become a patron, there's, of course, a link below, too. Anyway, there it is, the little ding bot. That was... Randy Robot Garage. <laughs>